All people that on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. Him serve with fear his praise forth tell. Come ye before him and rejoice. The Lord ye know is God indeed. Without our aid he did us make. We are his folk he doth us feed. And for his sheep he doth us take. O oh, enter then his gates with praise. Approach with joy his courts unto. Praise Lord and bless his name always. For it is seemly so to do. For why the Lord our God is good, His mercy is forever sure, His truth at all times firmly stood, and shall from age to age endure. To Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the God whom heaven and earth adore, from men and from the angel host, be praise and glory evermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. O sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders in the sight of the nations. He has shown his deliverance. Alleluia. My dear friends in Christ, on this Easter Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Easter, we come together as the people of God to sing Alleluia, which is our song, and to praise Almighty God. We come as his people to pray for the life of our parishes, and we come in penitence and faith to his altar. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you are pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit, and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. O 
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul got to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him. They could not believe he was really a disciple. Barnabas, however, took charge of him, introduced him to the apostles and explained how the Lord had appeared to Saul and spoken to him on his journey, and how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. Saul now started to go round with them in Jerusalem, preaching fearlessly in the name of the Lord. But after he had spoken to the Hellenists and argued with them, they became determined to kill him. When the brothers knew this, they took him to Caesarea and sent him off from there to Tarsus. The churches throughout Judea, Galilee and Samaria were now left in peace, building themselves up, living in the fear of the Lord and filled with the consolation of the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. The response in the psalm, Alleluia. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and have their fill. They shall praise the Lord, who, those who seek him. May their hearts live for ever and ever. Alleluia. All the earth shall remember and return to the Lord. All families of the nations worship before him. They shall worship him, all the mighty of the earth. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust. Alleluia. And my soul shall live for him, my children serve him. They shall tell of the Lord to generations yet to come, declare his faithfulness to all peoples. These things the Lord has done. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St John. My children, our love is not to be just words or mere talk but something real and active. Only by this can we be certain that we are the children of the truth and be able to quieten our conscience in his presence, whatever accusations it may raise against us. Because God is greater than our conscience and he knows everything. My dear people, if we cannot be condemned by our own conscience, we need not be afraid in God's presence. And whatever we ask him, we shall receive because we keep his commandments and live the kind of life that he wants. His commandments are these, that we believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and that we love one another as he told us to. Whoever keeps his commandments lives in God, and God lives in him. We know that he lives in us by the Spirit that he has given us. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Make your home in me as I make mine in you. Whoever remains in me bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that bears no fruit, he cuts away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes to make it even bear even more. You are pruned already by means of the word that I have spoken to you. Make your home in me as I make mine in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, but must remain part of the vine, neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me with me in him bears fruit in plenty. For cut off from me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that has been thrown away. He withers. These branches are collected and thrown on the fire and they are burnt. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will, and you shall get it. It is to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit, and then you will be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading today, we hear of the struggle of St Paul described as Saul in uh, the Acts of the Apostles at this point, 
who has had that conversion experience and then comes to the disciples and they're wary of him. They're wary of him because he has been the great persecutor of the church. He has been a great persecutor of the Christian life. And yet God has worked in Saul's heart and converted him, has worked in Saul's life to bring him to know the love of the Lord. And so in time, through the ministry of Barnabas, Saul is accepted as a teacher and a preacher and as a fellow apostle uh, in the community of the church, as one who will build others up. And it's a story about uh, repentance, it's a story about forgiveness, it's a story about reconciliation, of the way in which God can use all people to draw others to himself, and how hearts can be changed and can be guided to God. That joining, grafting on to the true vine that is the body of Christ, the vine that you and I are a part of. And Jesus is very clear in the scripture, sometimes the vine needs to be pruned, sometimes we need to get rid of those things that are, are excessive or those things that aren't necessary in order that we can grow and develop in different ways. Sometimes it's necessary to cut things back in order that we might grow and flourish in the future. And so we need to be thinking and praying in our own spiritual lives. What is it that I need to be focusing on? What is it that I could be getting rid of in order to focus more closely on God? And that can be quite difficult, but it's an important exercise to undertake in order that we can more fully be joined to that one true vine that nourishes us and feeds us. The vine that means we're in communion with one another. We share in the one sacrament of the church, the Eucharist. We share it together and we are bound together by it. So my dear friends, in this week, think about what it is that could make you more spiritually alive, more spiritually ready to be part of that one true vine, of which we are all branches and of which we all have a part to play. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. We pray for the Church throughout the world, for all Christian leaders. We pray for all missionaries and evangelists, for all who spread the good news of the gospel. Lord, hear us. We pray for our parishes, for all saints and St Michael's and for the Laughill Com community. We pray for all preparing for First Holy Communion and Confirmation, for those preparing for baptism, we pray for any who are celebrating birthdays or anniversaries at this time, that they may be richly blessed. Lord, hear us. We pray for peace among the nations of the world, for an end to warfare and violence, for those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray particularly for the people of India. We pray for those affected by the volcano in St Vincent. Lord, hear us. We pray for our local community, for all who live and work in our parishes, for those who continue to be affected by the Grenfell Tower fire. We pray for the young people of our parish. Lord, hear us. And we pray for those who are sick, for all in our hospital, hospice and care homes, and for the housebound, for the sick known to us, for all on our parish prayer list, and for those whom we remember now. 
they may know God's healing and loving presence. Lord, hear us. And we pray for those who have died, for our own departed relations and friends, and for all past members of this parish, for those who have died recently, and for those whose years mind we remember. Rest eternal, grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. And so we join our prayers with those of all the saints, with St. Michael, St. Francis, and St. Colum, and chiefly with Mary, Our Lady of Walsingham, whom we greet, saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and of the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, you promise to hear us when we pray in faith. Hear our prayers now and grant them according to your will and for our benefit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that, as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim thee, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all things. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Jonathan, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our ways that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the true vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, 
and leave those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Ye choirs of New Jerusalem, your sweetest notes employ, the paschal victory to him in strains of holy joy. How Judas lion burst his chains and crushed the serpent's head and brought with him from death's domains the long imprisoned dead. From hell's devouring jaws the prey, alone our leader bore. His ransomed hosts pursue their way, where he hath gone before. Triumphant in his glory now, his scepter ruleth all. Earth, heaven, and hell before him bow, and at his footstool fall. While joyful thus his praise we sing, his mercy we implore, into his palace bright to bring, and keep us evermore. All glory to the Father be, all glory to the Son, all glory, Holy Ghost, to thee, while endless ages run. Alleluia. Amen. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven. Alleluia. He whom thou wast me to bear. Alleluia. As he promised, hath arisen. Alleluia. Pour for us to God thy prayer. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has arisen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, hath brought joy to the whole world, grant that by the intercession of his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may be brought to the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.